whitest film in halls. Honestly, one of the most tiring things in the world. I'm absolutely shattered. I'm in my pyjamas now because I just couldn't. Like the second I've fil finished a film in a hall, I'm like, right, makeup off, hair out, pyjamas on. Like I do not want to be in a cute outfit for any longer than I have to be. I've just filmed four hauls and honestly, the stuff that I have found from Zara and H&M is wild. Like I literally am keeping all of it. My bank hates me and the post lady hates me, but I love it. <laughs> I literally love every single thing and I've got so many gorgeous outfits for the festive season like over December I've got so many gorgeous outfits so if you're looking for some really nice festive outfits for like Christmas, New Year's Eve, any Christmas parties, anything like that go and watch those hauls because let me tell you when I found some good stuff I mean I found some good stuff like some good stuff but yeah once I'm finished like the outfits are off the pajamas are on the makeup's about to come off any second and I need to eat I forget to eat when I'm filming hauls. Like I'm filming, I'm filming, I'm filming. And I'm like, whoa, I'm stopping. <laughs> so I'm going to have a chicken bagel in any second. As soon as Zach shouts at me, the chicken bagel's ready. I'm eating this chicken bagel. Hopefully I've got time to take this makeup off in the meantime. But I thought I would jump on and introduce the vlog because I'm going to do another little weekend vlog this week. I've got a really nice, like wholesome weekend planned. Just got a few different things. I'm going to the hairdressers tomorrow, finally, to get this mop chopped because it's literally so long. Somebody literally commented on one of my YouTube videos last week being like, just asking when's your next haircut? And I was like, okay, I see you. I get it. That's fine. <laughs> so I just thought I'd bring you along for the weekend because like I say, I'm really enjoying vlogging and just wanted to bring along some wholesome vibes. So just wanted to jump on and introduce the vlog. That's my chicken bagel. My chicken bagel's ready. So I've got a dash, but Thank you for clicking on this video while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching the vlogs. Go and subscribe. I'm gonna go and eat my chicken bagel and I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Hello guys, it's 1 p.m. I've just got home. I've got myself a little coffee, which is now an iced coffee. It was a hot coffee when I ordered it, but now by the time I've got home, it's now an iced coffee, but that's okay. I thought I would tell you about my little headspace hour that I've implemented. So I had a little realisation, I think it was about a week ago now, that I just feel like I'm doing too much. Like I'm always on the go, I'm always doing something, I'm always thinking about work, thinking about YouTube, just like always, my mind's just always going about something and I'm really not making time for downtime and just like relaxing, whether it be watching telly, reading a book, like just complete chill without actually working basically yes i might be sat down i might just be on my ipad but i'm editing my youtube videos i might be on my phone but i'm uploading a tiktok like it's constant so i really wanted to implement something that's just genuinely time for me so i've come up with this little concept of my headspace hour so my headspace hour is i'm starting off with three hours a week i think that's achievable that's manageable to just implement as we start and you know i might end up with more hours we'll just see like how i go with the first three hours and how easy i find it to fit that into my week and i've decided that in those three hours i am doing nothing but like full chill so it depends what I want to do in the hour it might be that I just literally want to lie on the sofa and watch Netflix but no scrolling on my phone like just watch a movie it might be that I want to read a book it might be that I want to meditate like whatever it is I want to do in that hour I'm allocating myself three hours of headspace time a week and going to the gym doesn't count because I go to the gym anyways so this is like an additional thing that I want to do so so far this week I've already had two hours of headspace time and in both of those hours I read my book I'm really enjoying my book at the minute so if anyone has any good book recommendations because I'm almost finished I'm probably going to be finished it like this week at some point like in the next few days so if anyone has any book recommendations of what I should read next please let me know because I really want to keep doing that I'm really enjoying reading at the minute and the other thing I'm going to start doing which I'm just about to do right now so I thought I would show you is adult colouring books <laughs> I've seen this all over online of loads of people doing adult colouring books and I just think it's a really cute, wholesome idea and I just really want to get into it. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it, to be honest. I'm not the best at colouring or drawing or anything like that. Like, I can be quite messy, but I really want to get into adult colouring books. So that is what I'm going to do right now. It's actually kind of cute. Me and my sister have both bought the exact same book and the exact same colouring pens and we've said we're going to do the same page each week. So this week we're doing the first page and then we're going to, like, compare drawings at the end of the week and, like, see who did a better colouring in. I just think it's a cute idea. So this is the little book that I've got and it's just loads of cute little images like of bears and like little tea parties and like just really cute just random little images and then this bit is the bit I'm the most excited about. Look at the pens that I've got. These are so bougie. It's an 80 piece twin marker pen set and just look how aesthetic this is when you open it up. 
sorry, are you seeing this? There's 80 markers in here. And oh my god, you just get so many colours. Like I need to organise all of these and take them all out. And you get a twin set as well, so you get like thin on one end and thick on the other. So my headspace hour this week, I've got my little coffee, I'm sat down at the dining table, and I'm gonna colour in. So I'm gonna do the first page. We decided we're both gonna do the first page, which is oh, it's so cute. This is the first page. So I guess she's like making a pie or something. Yeah, it's like bears and little bears and rabbits, and she's making a pie. Oh. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm not going to be very good. I really feel like I'm not going to be very good, but it doesn't matter about being good. It's about therapy. <laughs> and this is free. Therapy is not free. This is free. Well, it's not free, but it's less than therapy. So I'm going to sit and do this. I'm going to put a podcast on. I've really been enjoying listening to Laura Lee and Manny Emiway's podcast just because it's like very non-taxing on the brain. Like it's really easy to listen to. It's not like deep and heavy. It's just really easy to listen to just like trivial things that they discuss and I just really really enjoy it so I think I'm gonna put that on I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna colour in my bear book I'm so excited I will report back once I finish the image and show you the finished result I don't know if it's gonna be any good but I will show you the finished result I might actually show you the finished result in the next vlog stay tuned for the next vlog if you want to see my finished colour and book and my images of my little bear pie tea party it is haircut time this day has been looming it's been long awaited. It is haircut time. I've got it up in a bun right now. I'm still obsessed with these little flower clips. I know it's not necessarily still summer, but I'm still wearing these, so don't come for me. But it is haircut time. This has been a long time coming. I really don't know what to get. I'm kind of torn between going like short, short and just going full on bob and just like getting it out of the way. My hair's thinning anyways, like I've said, so I'm just like, should I just cut it, get it short and then let it grow back out? Or is that too risky? Should I do it like slowly? Should I cut a little bit and a little bit and then like keep going up to it? I have had a bob before and I did really, really like it. But I'm just not sure if now is the right time. I just, I can't decide. I can't decide whether to just do it, just shoop and go short or just do a little shoop. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. And I might get some bangs put back in as well. I don't really have any bangs going on at the minute. So I might get something put back in just so I've got a little bit of shape, a little bit of something, something going on. But I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna have the courage to cut it all off, we'll see. Had to put a little bit of makeup on because you all know as a girl, there is nothing worse than sitting, looking at yourself, getting your hair done for like an hour, especially in the hair salon. The lighting's always awful. You're in that awful black cape and it's just not a vibe. So I thought, you know what? I'm already gonna feel rubbish about myself when I'm there. I might as well put a little bit of makeup on and just help myself where I can. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog when I get there. I'm gonna assess the vibes. I've only been to this hairdresser's once before and last time it was really, really busy. So I'm just gonna see what the vibes are. I don't know what to do. I wish you could help me. Should I go bob or should I stay along? But by the time you watch this, I've made a decision because I'm leaving in one minute. I can't decide. I've actually done no mascara makeup today as well and I'm kind of feeling it. I never usually do this. But I see Molly May do it and if Molly May does it, I'ma do it. And she always does her makeup and doesn't put mascara on. And I'm like, I could be into this because my eyes always run anyways and I always end up with mascara everywhere. So I'm like, maybe I should just stop wearing mascara. Anyways, I'm gonna stop waffling is what I'm gonna do. And let's go to the hairdressers. Oh my God, should I get a bob? I just don't know. I just don't know whether I get a bob or not. Ah! I've just very quickly popped into B&M for some toiletries and they've got all the Christmas stuff in, all the Christmas sweets, all the little gift sets. And it's making me very, very, very excited. This is not necessarily Christmas stuff. This is saucers, but I did just see them. Oh my goodness. I usually love getting these little lattes from Nescaf, like the little instant lattes. Look what they've got. They've got green triangle edition, sticky toffee pudding, Vanilla cookie dough, vanilla cookie dough like You're coming home with me. You are coming home with me. Chocolate caramel brownie. Oh my God, what should I get? I'm definitely getting this one. Should I get a sticky toffee pudding as well? Or maybe a green triangle? Oh my God, and they've got aero as well. Aero peppermint and aero honeycomb. They've got so much sugar in them, but they look so good. That was one of those times where I went in for one thing. 50 quid later, but I did get myself a little snack for the hairdressers. I got myself this. I mean, I'm not going to eat the whole thing, but I'm going to try it. It's a new Cadbury mini snowballs. I mean, I've never seen this. Cadbury mini milk chocolate with micro mini snowball pieces. I don't know, but it looks festive. So we're going to give it a go. Let's give it a go. I mean, it just looks like a plain. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Little crunchy things in it. Cadbury chocolate slaps, doesn't it? Oh, it's like popping candy on the inside. Oh, I don't actually love that. It's kind of tingling all in my mouth now and I don't actually love that. Did get the vanilla cookie dough lattes though. 
so we're gonna give one of them a go maybe not now because it's a bit late for a coffee but and i got loads of other useless stuff that i just don't need but that's what b&m's all about right let's go to the hairdressers i'm gonna be late now probably we're back home oh the lighting in here is a little bit dark let me is that better okay you are on a makeshift tripod right now you are sat on top of a candle so you are a little bit wonky but i thought i would show you the new hair i'm actually really pleased with it I'm sure to you it maybe doesn't actually look that different, but I've had about four inches off. So I have had quite a bit off. It was honestly, it was like down to here. So I've had about four inches off. She's put a layer through, which I'm really happy with. And I got my bangs cut back in as well. My um, These pieces were really long. They were down here. So she's cut my bangs back in as well. Honestly, I'm so happy with that. I feel like it looks really shiny and glossy, which is what I was hoping for. I know that I was saying that my hair's been falling out, so I really didn't want to do too much and take too much off because I was worried it was going to look super duper thin. But I really think she's done a really great job at just putting a really subtle layer through so it doesn't look too, too thin. I also had a tiny little bit of blonde that was clinging on for dear life down here, so I really needed her to cut that out. So she managed to layer that out as well. I'm really, really, really tempted to get my blonde put back in really tempted not blonde but just like mousy brown at the minute my hair's basically black like it's so dark it's basically black and i'm very very tempted to just get some really light brown like mousy brown highlights through it just to give it a bit of texture and when it's like this when it's not dyed it is so so soft which is honestly a good thing and a bad thing because it means obviously it's soft it's healthy it looks glossy but it doesn't hold the style if i curl this it will drop out in like two minutes it has to be straight to be able to hold the style so I'm kind of tempted to get the blonde bits back in just to like roughen up the texture a little bit as well as give me a little bit of more shape. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Go back to 2021 and watch one of my videos and have a look at the blonde and then let me know what you think because I'm kind of tempted. I did go too blonde. I don't want to go too blonde. I just want to go mousy brown like caramel rather than like blonde. So go back and let me know because I think I might do it. I don't know whether to do it before Christmas or after Christmas. I don't know. But anyways, I'm back home now and I'm going to make some tea. I'm going to make fish tacos. Let me show you what I picked up. I just went to Tesco and did the food shops. Let me show you what I got. The air fryer's on, so that's what that noise is. But I was saying, I think a couple of videos ago, that I've stopped eating so much meat. Like, I used to base all of my meals around the meat. So I'd be like, chicken curry, chicken pasta. And I'd always base all of my meals around the meat. And I've kind of just realised I don't really like eating meat that much. Like, sometimes... I just don't really fancy it, you know, and it kind of puts me off a little bit. Not to say that I don't, I definitely do, do still eat meat, like definitely still partial to a chicken pasta every now and again. But I've discovered this brand and I keep buying all their stuff in Tesco and it's honestly so good. It's this brand here, the Tesco Plant Chef brand. I've tried a few things from here. I've tried their meat-free sausages. I've tried their meat-free chicken burgers. And then tonight I'm trying their fish free goujons and honestly the stuff is so so nice um zach is very much a meat eater he likes to eat a lot of meat and sometimes i like sneak some of this plant chef stuff in and he never notices the difference and always when i tell him afterwards he's like oh it tasted really good and it's still got a lot of protein in it because it's still made from like pea protein and he's obsessed with the chicken burgers every time we have burgers he's like can we do the plant chef chicken burgers because they're so so nice genuinely so we're going to try out the fish free goujons tonight and i'm gonna make some fish tacos so i'll report back on what they're like because like i said i haven't tried these before but they've got half a pack is like 11 grams of protein so i mean it's not loads but it's still got protein in it super low in saturated fat super low in sugar and i just think it's a nice little alternative so if you are trying to eat a little bit less meat or you don't really like me or you're a veggie and you just want to find like some nice things to get try this brand from tesco honestly I've been absolutely loving it. So I'm excited for these fish tackles. I'll show you them when they're ready. Okay, these are the fish tackles. I've literally just put some, I'm trying to show you, but they're just all flopped open. But we just put some coleslaw on the bottom and then the fish goujons. I'm going to drizzle some sauce on. I'm not sure what to do. I might do like some sriracha and some honey or something. But they look pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with these. I just used the Fiadina wraps from Tesco. If you don't know about those, get to know and just created little taco shells in the oven and then just loaded them up. I'm gonna drizzle something on top of them, I think just for a little bit of extra taste, but I'm very excited to tuck into these. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I have just got dressed and I'm off out on a little, a little solo date today. I've really, really, really been wanting to make a 30 under 30 list. I've seen a couple of people making them and I've been really, really desperate to make one. 
I don't really know what I'm gonna put on it yet. I've got like two or three things that I know I wanna put on it. So I don't really know what else I'm gonna put on it. So I thought I'd take myself out on a little solo date, get a little coffee, like do it in a coffee shop, just romanticize it rather than just like sitting at the house at my dining table. So that's where I'm off. I've got a couple of parcels to return to Zara first and then I'm gonna go find just like a little nook in a coffee shop and write my 30 under 30 list. And I'm honestly so excited. I never ever go on a little solo date. So I'm really excited to take myself out just to spend a Sunday with myself. I've got my headphones. I've got my little journal. Let me show you. I've got my little journal packed in this bag. It doesn't actually fit. So it's like poking out of the top. But this is from Hade Designs and I literally have everything in this. It's got my little initials embossed on it. And then when you open it up, it's got all sorts inside. I've got like my schedule. I've got my habits. I've got my goals, I've got everything all in this little journal and then just like some pens and stuff in this side. So I'm going to take this with me. I've got my headphones and yeah, we're going to go have a gorgeous little solo date and write my 30 under 30 list. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I never go out by myself. I don't know why I feel a little bit nervous to go out by myself on like a little solo date, but I do. But I'm looking forward to it at the same time. So let's go. Do I need this? I feel like I do. I've been on the hunt for something like this. It's only £35. Oh, I just don't need any more stuff, but I feel like I need this. I just popped into H&M and they've got so much nice winter stuff, like seasonal like party stuff. Like, look at all this. They've got all of their party stuff in, like all of their leather trousers, sequins, sparkles. I need to leave before I buy anything. Leave, Nadia. Leave. I've just come and found myself a little spot at Costa. I've got my little notebook. I've ordered myself a drink. This is a drink I've never had before, which I'm very excited for. I ordered a latte with coconut milk. And usually the only sugar-free syrups that they have is vanilla and caramel. And they had cinnamon bun. So I've ordered a coconut milk latte with cinnamon bun and sugar-free syrup. And it looks delicious. It's probably going to be a little bit hot, so I'm going to give it a minute and cool. And I'm going to get myself set up with my little notebook. I'm ready to write my little list. I'm very excited. What a wholesome little Sunday. Okay. Let's do a taste test of the cinnamon bun latte. I'm scared, it's gonna be hot. Oh! Ooh. Ooh, I like her. She's delish. I love the fact that they've got that sugar free. I always get the sugar free syrups, and I'm always limited to caramel or vanilla. I can never get like a fancy festive one. But this, cinnamon bun. Unreal. The girl that served me was like, that's my favourite, you have to try it. And I was like, okay. And she was right, that's a good one. Oh, I'm going to drink that way too fast. I always only get one shot when I come to Costa as well because the caffeine here is way too strong for me. So my one shot cinnamon bun that I am. Right. I'm going to put my headphones in and I'm going to start my list. What do you want out of the next few years of your life? And like, it's actually got me pretty emotional. I'm gonna cry, I don't know why I'm gonna cry. But this just feels so wholesome and I'm having such a lovely Sunday and it just is really humbling to really sit down and think of 30 things that you want for yourself. 
in the next couple of years. Like the first like five things were really easy. Like I wrote down the first five things. I was like, yeah. And then I kind of had to take a step back and think these are all really big life achievements. I need some smaller ones. I need some little things because 30 big things is a lot of things to achieve. So I needed a few big things and a few smaller things. And it's the smaller things that are really hard to think of. Like what do I actually, actually want to do? And it's hard. I'm listening to some country music as well. I'm listening to Zach Bryan, who is one of my faves at the minute. And it just feels humbling and eye-opening. So this is your sign to write your 30 under 30 list, if you haven't already, or 30 things to do before I'm 30, whatever you want to call it. And if you're already 30, mix it up. Do give yourself like two years and do 32 things before I'm 32, 35 things before I'm 35, whatever it is. Just still write one. Even if you're 30, still write one because this is honestly just I'm just having such a lovely time. If you couldn't tell, like I'm really, really enjoying myself. I've got 10 things so far, so I need another 20. But I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to get it finished today. I've got 10 things, and over the next couple of weeks, I'll just keep adding to it whenever I think of something, because I don't wanna just write things down for the sake of it. I really wanna like mean every single thing that I put on this list, because there's gonna be nothing worse than a few years passing and not having achieved it, and think, well, I only wrote that down just to have something. Uh, I really want to get to 30 and take every single thing off so I really want every single thing to be like super super mean and full so I'm going to try and get a couple more, I'm going to try and get to at least 15 and I'm nearly finished my cinnamon bun latte. Honestly, this is your sign. Write your 30 before your 30, 32 before your 32, 35 before your 35, 50 before your 50, whatever it is, write your list because it really challenges you and puts into perspective for you to think about what you want for your life and think about what you actually want to do. And don't just put things on there because you feel like you should put them on there. Don't put on there like climb a mountain. If you don't want to climb a mountain, don't put it, put it on. Like put on what you genuinely, genuinely want to do. It might be as simple as try a cinnamon bun latte from Costa. Put it on your list. Like put it on your list and it's going to force you to push yourself out of your comfort zone and do things because you physically wrote them down right that's enough rambling i'm going to try and get another couple of things on my list tell me why i'm fully crying i'm literally fully crying i'm fully fully crying like that list has just made me relax like how much i've actually already achieved in my life and like, i don't want this to come off like big-headed at all but when i was googling lots of other people's lists and like looking for some inspiration i was like wow like i've actually done a lot of this stuff like ride a jet ski, visit all these different places, like start a business, um, join and get a gym routine, like all these things that people were putting on their list. I was like, wow, I've actually achieved all of this already. Like, and it was just making me quite emotional realizing how much I've actually already done. And sometimes you don't just stop and like look around and be appreciative for everything that you've already got. You're always looking for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next most important thing. But actually, sitting down just for the, this last hour has really helped I'm, I'm really not that great at gratitude like i try my best and i know i should practice it often but i'm really not that great with gratitude like i say i'm appreciative but i am always looking for the next thing and the next thing and wanting more and wanting more and i'm really trying to be more mindful of that so this hour has really genuinely helped me do that and realize lots of things on other people's lists i've achieved so long ago and i've just took for granted so this has really helped me kind of be appreciative of those things and think okay yes what's next but also look at all the stuff I've already done so just to give you a little bit of inspo if you're going to write your own list I'll give you a couple of things that I've brought on my list the first one is read 30 books I've really been trying to get into reading a little bit more I used to read all the time when I was younger and then I just got bored of it and I started playing on my phone a lot more often so read 30 books and I'm going to write them down every single time I read one to make sure that I read 30 run a half marathon I really wanted to do that for the longest time and I was going to do it this year, just gone, and then I didn't do it, so I'm thinking next year or the year after will be my year. Um, reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm hoping I can do that in the next two and a bit years because that's hopefully more than long enough. I really tried to write tangible things, lots of things that people were putting on their list were things like get in the best shape of my life. Um, practice more mindfulness and like although yes I want to do those things I feel like they're not very tangible like get in the best shape of my life like how will I know do you know what I mean or like practice mindfulness like how will I know that like I'm being more mindful I really wanted to do tangible things like visit a certain country that I can physically tick off like yes I have done that there's no doubt whether I've done that whereas like be more grateful like yes I want to be more grateful but like at what point do you say you've reached that do you know what I mean so Although I want to do all of those things, I want to be more mindful, I want to be more grateful, I want to be more appreciative, I want to be happier, I want to be all those things. 
they're not like tangible goals so yeah and I feel like that's something you'll be working towards your entire life like you'll be working towards being more grateful being more happy your entire life it's not something you can just achieve by 30 do you know what I mean so things on my list are definitely more tangible um, just to give you another couple of examples like go to a dance class I used to dance all the time when I was younger and I haven't danced now for years and I always speak to my sister about it and we always say we're gonna go dance and we're gonna go dance it and we never go so now it's on my list I need to go so this is your sign. Take yourself on a solo date, go get yourself a cinnamon bun, latte, and write your however many before whatever age you are list because I've had the most gorgeous day. I've only managed to get 12 things, but like I said, I'm not going to put pressure on myself to get up to 30 today. I might do this again in a couple of weeks with a different mindset and see what I want to achieve in a few weeks' time. So 12 things, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to pop my headphones in, do a little bit more window shopping, and then I'm going to take myself off home more Luca Combs and Zach Bryan country hits coming at you. Oh, it's Chris Stable one now. Okay, bye. These are absolutely gorgeous. They've just come in the next. How nice are these with like their little ruffles on them? These look honestly so expensive. How much are they? Oh, they are expensive. They're £62. I think that's pretty pricey actually. Do I need them? Oh, I like these ones as well. These are very festive. Little velvet balls. Do I need a new pair of shoes? I don't think I do, but am I going to buy a new pair of shoes is a different kind of question. Well, they're all right. The little kittens. Am I in my kitten heel era? I do not know. We're going to be sensible. We're going to believe it. Look, they've got all their Christmas trees up. It's so festive. I am so excited for Christmas. They've got all of their decorations up now in the shopping centre, and I am here for it. Absolutely here for it. Is it Christmas yet? thought we could do a little taste test of the cookie dough latte so this is the one that I got in B&M was it yesterday the day before I don't know when I bought it but I got this in B&M it's the vanilla cookie dough latte so I thought we could do a little taste test I've just made one this is what it looks like I mean it does have all like the nice froth on the top it looks a really nice color it looks like it's not gonna be too strong so I thought we could do a little taste test I think it's gonna be a little bit hot I did make it about 10 minutes ago. Usually I make my hot drinks about 30 minutes before I want them because I just hate when drinks are too hot. There's nothing worse than when you burn your tongue. So here goes. Oh, it's actually okay. Oh. Oh. It's a little bit hot. I hate when people slurp their drinks, but it's still a little bit too hot. Oh, she's nice. She's very sweet. If you don't really like sweet lattes, like if you don't get a sugary syrup, or you don't get like a vanilla or a caramel syrup or anything from Costa or wherever you get your coffee from, you're not going to like this because it's very, very sweet. It doesn't really taste like cookie dough though. I'm not really getting cookie dough. I'm kind of just getting very, very strong vanilla. Kind of almost tastes like a biscuit, like a vanilla biscuit. I don't know if that sounds strange, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Anyways, I'm going to let her cool because she is still a little bit too hot. I basically wanted to just come on and let you all know that I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year. I have mentioned it in a couple of my videos so far, but I wanted to just sit down and kind of let you know the crack. So I'm sure you all know what Vlogmas is, but if you don't, it's basically one video for every day in December. So I'm going to be doing at least the first 24 days. Like I'm going to take it all the way up to Christmas. I'm obviously going to have like Christmas Day off. I might pick it back up again after Boxing Day. I haven't decided yet. I'm definitely going to have like Christmas Day and Boxing Day off. I might pick it back up and do the few days in between Christmas and New Year. I haven't decided yet. I've just planned content up until Christmas Eve. Usually when people do Vlogmas, I think they do a vlog every single day. So they do something every single day in December and like do a vlog. Vlogs aren't necessarily what perform best on my channel. And I feel like my channel is like mostly hauls and fashion content. So I am going to incorporate a lot of that into Vlogmas as well. So it's still going to be a video every single day but just not a vlog every single day. Like some days it might be a haul, some days it might be a makeup tutorial, some days it might be a vlog, some days it might be like a funny challenge. Like I'm just really gonna try and mix up the content and do a little bit of everything. I'm really excited for it, I'm not gonna lie. I am very, very nervous because it's gonna be very full on. Like filming a video and editing a video takes a long time as it is. I already upload three times a week and that literally takes me so much time. So to now swap for uploading seven times a week, I do know it's gonna be very, very hard. And there are gonna be days where I have to film, edit and upload all in the same day. Like if I'm vlogging something on the morning, I know I'm gonna have to 
edit it in the afternoon and film it on and upload it sorry on the evening which is going to be full on like that is going to take the entire day but with some planning and with some dedication I feel like I can really do it so I just wanted to come on and let you know that that's what I'm doing I'm very nervous but I'm very very excited the main thing that I'm just scared about is that I commit to doing it and then it gets to like the 16th and I miss an upload which obviously it isn't the end of the world I need to relax and remember that nothing happens if I miss an upload but I don't want to say I'm going to do something and then just not do it so I'm committing now this is my commitment to you I'm doing vlogmas you're going to get at least 24 videos in December one every single day all the way up to Christmas Eve and like I say it's going to be a mix of all different things so if you just want to see makeup content make sure you subscribe for that fashion content vlog content funny content whatever it is just make sure that you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on all the gorgeous festive content but yeah I just wanted to come on and tell you that and make sure if you've watched this vlog all the way to the end then hopefully you like my content and if you're not already subscribed please go and hit that subscribe button and also press the notification bell as well so when I upload during vlogmas you'll get a notification to let you know that a video has gone up I'm going to try and upload at the same time every single day hopefully but there might be days where obviously I've missed that and it ends up going up a little bit later. If there are also any videos that you really really want to see I pretty much do have most of my content schedule organised already but if there is a video that you really really want to see and you want me to incorporate I can still wiggle stuff around so if you do have any ideas anything you love seeing around Christmas time or just any outfit inspiration ideas or you want to see makeup tutorials whatever you want to see if you just comment it down below and let me know I'll make sure I try and incorporate it but yeah if you're not subscribed go and subscribe get ready for vlogmas because it's coming to a town near you very very soon and I'm very excited I'm very excited for Christmas and I'm very excited to document the month of December with all of that being said I'm going to go ahead and end this week's vlog here Thank you so, so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. I've already asked you so many times, shamelessly, but please do go subscribe to my channel so that you make sure that you stay tuned for Vlogmas. If you're enjoying the vlog content, there's going to be plenty more of that. So yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to go and enjoy my cookie dough latte and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.